Hey guys, still here, and welcome back to Surviving the Arctic in Stormworks. I have a new mission. I need to capture sharks. They have offered a reward, and they, not the sharks, but the scientists, they want two specimen of shark. They want one from um, two areas on the map, one being down here, and the other one being up there, near Croil, Krail Oil Works. I need to deliver them to the Arctic survey base. Fortunately, at the dock, not up there. I don't really have anything that I could be using to capture a shark. Well, maybe with the exception of a stretcher, but I don't really think that that's going to work too well. So I'm going to have to devise a sort of boat, if you will, that can do this. Uh, that's going to be pretty tricky. Let's see, do I even have connectors? Because I kind of need those. I have fluid connectors. Oh yeah, and I have small connectors. Okay, much as I li like the uh, ice dart, I'm going to have to go with a new boat. Or maybe not entirely a new boat, because the propulsion of this boat is still alright. I just need to make it bigger. Uh, so this is going to be the ice dart uh, shark capture. Um, the shark hunter. I want to try and have the sharks somehow get close to the boat and then uh, capture them in some sort of net. I have pipes and I'm going to devise a sort of shark capturing device from that. Let's take the ladders out because I won't be using those anymore. Pipes. I'm going to make these in a as clear a color as I can. I'm going to have the shark come in um, from, from where actually? Let's see. If I put, I need to try and make this thing sort of enclosed. I don't want the shark escaping. This is usually not what I use pipes for, but it might just work. And I have never done this mission, so I don't know if it'll work. Okay. Then, I need to construct the, let's say, the top part of the cage. Like that. I haven't actually asked the scientists what they intend to do with uh, said sharks. So that's entirely their problem. I'm just here to try and capture the shark, just for the challenge of it. Okay, let's go down a little. Sharks are pretty large creatures in this game. You need to have quite a large cage in order to capture them. And the trick is to get them to swim into the cage. Because I don't think that they're going to do that voluntarily. At least I haven't met a shark yet who voluntarily does anything. So I'm going to have to make it worth his while. And that means I'm going to have to use myself as bait. Which is just as bad as it sounds. Those are going to be my intervals. So those are going to be sort of uh, sub-connectors of the cage. Okay. 
Now the tricky thing is to be developing the part where I can actually capture the shark. So the one that, or the, the door, because I don't really have the parts for that, so I'm gonna have to improvise it with a couple of connectors. All right, time to do the same thing here. Fortunately, these things don't weigh anything. I believe so. Yeah, they only have one mass. Well, I might need to see if this boat will actually float. Because if it doesn't, then the whole cage structure is going to be not working out too well. Rotate, rotate. We're starting to get somewhere. It's almost starting to look like a cage. I wouldn't be surprised if this thing is just gonna sink as soon as I spawn it in, just because it's too heavy. I think one pipe up is enough. And then a couple of these. The sharks that I've seen in game are pretty damn large. So I hope that they won't be able to escape from this. Okay, just a test. Does it still float? Oh, I missed one of the spaces. Whoops. No, it does float. Okay. That's actually better than expected. Alright. I can work with that. We're just going to continue. I don't think I need any more braces up on the top side. Um, here then... Standard pipes. Okay, now it's going to be time to start finishing off this cage. Maybe add one more support structure here. Okay, time to bring in the door. I want the door to... How am I going to do that? Um, I want the door to be attached to this side. Let me just fix this part first. That's where the connectors are going to be. Small, or f uh, no, it's fluid connectors, small connectors. Means that these things are slightly too long. If I'm gonna have a fluid connector, no, a small connector here, the next one's gonna be there with one space in between. Um, I want it to be same height. It's going to have to be here. And there. Small connector. That's where the cage is going, or the door of the cage is going to be. Okay. 
Yeah, those are lined up perfectly. Now, what's going to happen is that that shark's going to swim in here. And then I'm going to have to close the gate from probably all the way back here. And then I'm going to have to try and extricate myself from that cage. So I'm going to have to make a toggle button to toggle the connectors on this side on and off. Um, magnet toggle here. So this one goes to that one. That one and that one. Does it still float? I wonder. No, I was thinking about it. Yeah, it still works. Can I swim in here? Okay, I can. And I can... Sort of get out. Yep, I can get out. Okay, so I just need to add the door to the cage. This is going to be weird. I need a sub-assembly for that. Uh, I need to save this as the shark hunter. And this should be... Actually, it can be anything. It just needs to be very small. I think I have one of those somewhere. From way, way, way back in the day when I did a tutorial on how you could make... Yeah, one of those. This is a sort of cage bar. That will do. Now I can move this part. That thing. Um, clear. I need to move it slightly. Actually, it needs to be a little smaller. Or does it? I think the connector should be over there. Is that enough? That is the part I want to move. And I want to move that here. Now it overrode a couple of things. That's not part of the plan. Okay. Mm, paste it in. Apparently it's still too big. Cut. No, not cut. Cancel that. Needs to be a little smaller. Damn it. Resize the grid. This is all I need. Cut that. I might need to cage it. Or um, no, maybe. Does this work? No, it's too small. Still, I can at least work with this. I need one more bar and then a connector. And then a couple of pipes. Up there, and again, two more connectors. And the same thing again. Connect these things together. We don't want that shark to go anywhere. Uh, next is going to be a constant on signal. Because some of these are going to be on all the time. Uh, I'll just place that here since it's probably going to be a temporary boat. I want uh, these to be always on. Oh, I don't have it on the other side yet. Okay, so I need to make sure I get that. Clear. Resize. One bigger and a couple up. Copy. And paste. Okay, back to the logic. Constant on goes for the outer parts. 
So these outer connectors are always going to be on. The inner connectors, these three are only going to be on when I trigger them. Oh, and I also want to have these always on. And that goes for these as well. Toggle, toggle, toggle. And this one toggles the gate. Now I need to provide everything with power. Where are you? Connector, connector, connector. And we can hook it up to the electric motor there. I wonder if this is going to drain the batteries because connectors are generally quite power hungry. Oh, and the controls also need a power. All right, here it goes. Where's the boat? There's the boat. The hell's the connect? Where's the hell's the fence? The hell? Oh, they're down there. Why? Because they should be always on. Maybe because they're not quite part of the ship. Hmm. Does this work? Nope, I think they fell down again. Something's not quite working with these shark cages as of yet. See, I did this on a previous boat and it did work over there. Mm. I'm missing something. This is the magnet toggle, so that all works. They're all getting a constant on signal, which you can see when you look at the actual boat. They are getting power. What am I missing? Do I need to move them back slightly? Because there's not a whole lot of moving back to be done. There's no room. If I paste it here, I'm going to be overriding stuff. Yeah, I just kicked out the rest of it. That's not good. What if I put it over there? Is the logic still wired? No, it's... N well, mostly. But some of the constant on signals aren't quite there. See what happens if I do it now. Does it snap into place? It does not. No, they're down there. Well, this sucks. Could I capture the shark just by the momentum of the boat? So just by swimming in there and trying to get the shark to come after me. I'm willing to try. So I'm just going to try and sort of scoop up a shark. This is nuts. So let's try it. I'm going to really need my arctic gear too. There. Alright, let's go get a northern shark. I'm not sure if that's big enough for a shark. <laughs> the odds of this going horribly wrong are pretty significant. It's gonna be weird. Unfortunately, the thing has enough buoyancy. I wonder how big these northern sharks are. If they're bigger than the sharks that I remember? Well, let's say it's going to be an interesting experience for me. 
At least they usually don't attack your boat. That's one good thing. Oh, the connectors are draining my batteries like crazy. If connectors are not connected, they're constantly trying to figure out what to connect to. And that's exactly what you see happening right now. So all of those connectors on the sides, they are draining the batteries. I need to get rid of those. All right, Mr. Shark, I hope you're out there. I hope the shark's willing to swim into the cage because scooping him up is going to be tricky. I don't think the boat can turn fast enough for that. About 500 meters out. 300. Oh! I think the shark is mobile. Yeah, I think the shark is mobile. So that means I might be able to scoop him up. He's too deep. He's pretty fast, too. Yo, shark. There he is. I need you to be a good little shark and swim into the cage. And then stay there. I'll sweeten the pot a little for you. I'll get in the cage. Come on. I don't think he's interested. Down here, silly. Get over here. Well, he might be interested. Come on. Oh. Are you trying something? Yeah, he's definitely circling the boat now. Could you get in the cage, please? No? I am wearing my Arctic gear, but I'm soaking wet. I'm not surprised I'm dying. I need to get closer to that heater. Just to maintain my body temperature. I don't think that this boat's going to be working particularly well. Unfortunately. No, I'm going to have to come up with something else. Maybe a sort of a drag net. Something that drags the shark. And then I need to sort of bring it back to the survey base. Alright, well that's going to be an episode. Uh, or a concern for a different episode. This one's over. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any good ideas on how to capture a shark, well, keep in mind, I only have beginner tools. So I'm going to have to make do with what I got. Anyway, ideas are welcome down below in the comments. See you soon for more.